today I'm putting the tallest team in FIFA up against the shortest team in FIFA. So the tallest team I've put on this club called Polaris makes sense. And then the smallest team in FIFA I've put on the smallest club in FIFA, Arsenal. <laughs> Am I allowed to make Arsenal jokes anymore since they're top of the table now? We'll be putting these two teams up against each other in a best of five challenges. That include the World Cup, career mode, Volta, a head-to-head -head matchup, and more. So let's go. Let's begin by showing you who's on each team, starting with the tallest team in FIFA. I've gathered the 25 tallest players in FIFA and put them on this team right here. This right here is Holly. He is officially the tallest player in the game. He's a goalkeeper for Carlisle United. So each team has a lot of strengths and weaknesses. Obviously, tall players mean that they're going to be incredible in the air, but most of these players are either strikers, goalkeepers, or center backs. This man right here, Alvaro, is 54 rated. He's the only midfielder on the entire team. So since this team has so many attackers and defenders, I think it's best if we run with the 5-2-3 formation. Their whole attack is going to be comprised of strikers only, and their whole back line are pretty much all center backs. And here's the smallest team in FIFA 23. This man with no face, Rendon, is officially the smallest player in the game. He is 150 55 centimeters tall. This team also has a player from my favorite club, FC Cincinnati, Acosta. He's actually our best player, so I'm excited to see what he can do. Also, the issue with this team is that they basically have no defenders and a terrible goalkeeper. Typically, all the smaller players who play football are in the midfield, so this whole team is pretty much composed of midfielders. We got Barrios from MLS. If this team somehow scores ahead of this video, I'll dump this entire cup of hot coffee on my head. I'm not even kidding. So for challenge number one, we're going to put both teams in the World Cup. We're going to be controlling both of these clubs, and whichever club makes it further will win this first challenge. All right, let's check out the groups that our teams are in for this World Cup. These are not the official World Cup groups for Qatar this year. So, oh my God, look at Group B. Dude, poor Qatar in that. Brazil, Belgium, and Germany. Here's the tallest team in FIFA. They've been matched up against Portugal, Iceland, and Finland. I actually think they could get out of this. And then the smallest team in FIFA, Arsenal, Wales, United States, and Italy. That one is definitely a little more difficult. Also, Arsenal fans, I know you're not a small club. I know. I just, I, I'm sorry. I like to, I just like to toy with Arsenal. <laughs> We're not going to simulate through all the group stage games and see if both of our teams made it out. And of course, both of our teams got grouped. Okay. So since neither of them made it to the group, whoever had the most points in their group will win this first challenge. The tallest team in FIFA. I thought their group was easy. They had zero points. The smallest team in FIFA will go through and win with one point. Wow. This is just a crazy start to this video. After one challenge, the smallest team leads one nil on to challenge number two. So for this leg, we're into a head-to-head -head matchup on kickoff mode. Pretty simple. Whoever wins this match wins the challenge. The tallest team in FIFA has better attacking, worse midfield, and worse defending. But for the most part, both of our teams are very even. Look at the size difference already of these players on the loading screen, bro. Oh, this is going to be so good. Put your predictions down below on who you think is going to win this overall challenge. Look at this stadium as well, bro. The trees are looking good. Where is this? Yep, you can definitely tell. Look how small they are. Oh my god, yo. The only tall person is their goalkeeper. I had to add a goalkeeper onto the smallest team. So that is the smallest goalkeeper in FIFA. Yo, it looks edited, but this is their actual heights. I'm a tall person. So even though they're down 1-0 to start this video, I'm rocking with the tall team. Okay, let's roll. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, I am six foot three inches tall. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty tall. Oh my God, they look so small. The tall team. Let's go. What a start. Already one nil. Could we have asked for anything better? Look at this miserable defending too. That's what happens when your entire back line for the small team is full of strikers. Here comes the smallest team. Yo, what was that shot? Look at these side-by-side -side comparisons. Dude, they literally look like midgets, but this is their actual size in real life. It's crazy how all of these players with their different heights can be footballers. Genuinely football, one of the only sports in the world where you can be extremely tall or extremely small and still be amazing. We got Morales in Barrio saved. This is where the tall team is going to have the advantage because they have an insanely tall goalkeeper. Also got to be careful that the small team doesn't score with their head or else this coffee is going on my head. Tall team. Oh my God. What, what was the save? The smallest goalkeeper in FIFA making one of the most acrobatic saves you'll ever see. Love that. All right, here we go. All right, get your hat on it. Yep. Nope. Oh, goal line clearance. And that one will go in. Two now. The tall team just when it's all tall players and all small players, the tall team is just too good, man. Maybe the small team can get one here. Nice save. And that'll be it for the half. It is 2-0 in favor of the tall team.
Oh my God. They nearly just scored with their head. My, my life just flashed before my eyes. This is for the tall team to make it three. This could be it for the game. That's in. Wait, why am I mad? I, I picked the tall team to win. Come on, let's go. Hey, I just want everyone out here to have fun, man. That's what I'm here for. But this goal right here, nice one. That small goalkeeper's terrible. They might actually get one here to make it 3-1. I don't even know if they've had a single shot all game, the small team. And with that... Blow the whistle. It is done. The tall team wins the match 3 0. It is now all tied up 1 1. Two challenges complete. On to challenge three. So the next leg we're gonna get into is career mode. But quickly before that, if you guys live around New York City, check out this FIFA event where I'll be there, Jared HD, Paz Jor, a bunch of other YouTubers. The link will be in the top of the description. We'll be playing a FIFA tournament for $1,000. It's completely free to come. Again, it is in New York City. It is the October 8th of 2022. Free jinx, free entry, play some FIFA, meet me and other YouTubers. Hope to see you there, link in the description. Okay, back in the video. So normally for this challenge, I'd put both teams in the champion Champions League in whichever team finishes further ahead in the Champions League would win. But since both teams are so bad, there's no point in doing this challenge like this. So instead, what I've done is put both teams in the Irish League, which is widely considered to be the worst league in FIFA. Whichever one of our clubs finishes further up in the table in the worst league in FIFA wins challenge number three. Let's go ahead and simulate till the end of the season to see who is going to win this challenge. Let's simulate. All right, December 2022, we've made it to the end of the season. Whoever wins this challenge will go up two to one and be in a huge position into the final two challenges i figured this would happen here's the table both of our two teams are first and second all right whichever club is first wins here we go three two one it's the tallest team in fifa they win by three points oh my god the tall team won one more match than the short team and because of that the tall team now leads two to one in total challenges on to challenge number four here it is boys a leg four challenge four is a volta match look at this pitch he have added a bunch of new Volta pitches this year, and they look amazing. Starting 11s. Here's the starting... Did I say starting 11? Starting 5s. Volta has 5 players. Dude, this stadium's so cool. Volta, honestly, is not bad this year, I feel like. I need to... Would you guys want to see VoltaCon on the channel besides these games? Let me know in the comments. All right, I'm not even paying attention to the game right now. What do we got? We got a little cabin back... Oh, I just... They scored. Okay. I, I, I always do this. I'm, so, I'm more focused on the actual field than the game being played. Look at this goal right here. Hold up. Wait, look at the... Are those full-size nets? Yo, what have EA done? Wait, I kind of like this. So, so Volta, the nets aren't all small anymore. There's another one. Wait, is this just made Volta way too easy? Yeah, this isn't a normal futsal-size net. This is a legit full-size goal on a Volta pitch. Honestly, EA, I love this addition. All right, can we stop scoring for a second? I want to see. We got a log cabin back there. So many people watching. And they just scored another goal. Dude, this game is going to be like 20 to 15 or something. Every shot that gets taken pretty much goes in because the goal is so big. All right, let me stop being distracted by the field. Small team. What a save. What a save again. This one's got to be a goal for the small team. Why have you shot that so lightly? 2-1 so far. The skill shot is missed. So the small team need to win this one to force that fifth and final leg, which if it happens will be a penalty shootout. Will they score here? Dude, why are these shots so slow? Another goal, 3-1. I'm just, I'm missing all of these. I swear I'm just trying to look at the background of this stadium and I'm missing every goal. I'm sorry. This makes it 3-1 though. First time finish, pretty nice. The small team needs to start scoring. There it is, 2-3. Pretty evenly matched game so far. Aw, oh, the small goalkeeper. I low-key feel really bad for this tiny goalkeeper. Look how small he is compared to the goal. For three, this could be one. Why are you shooting so slow? The small team should have like four or five goals, but the, they just kind of tap the ball at the net. Here comes the small team. This one was actually pretty crazy angle. Wild first half so far. This could tie huh? it. Why are you trying to chip? Oh my God. And then, of course, they just score right up. Bro, I'm like, there's too much going on here. My brain can't handle this. It's 4-4 now. Last play of the half. Another just pass at goal. I don't understand. That is halftime. Oh, my God. Okay, it's tied. Only a three-minute half, and there was 21 total shots. Oh, my God. All right, boys, strap in because the second half is about to get even more crazy. Small team. Bang. What a goal. Upper night. Wow. The small team just took the lead. Dude, they're about to go up 6-4. Nope. Ooh, what a save. This has got to be in. It is 6-4. Small team was down by two goals, and now they're up by two goals. So much going on in this game. Too much to keep up with. It's now 6-5. Tall team. Banging shot. Oh, my God. That was almost from the halfway line. Genuinely one of the craziest games of FIFA I've seen this year in FIFA 23. Look at that finish. Can we see another banger from the tall team? 
Dude, these goals are ridiculous. The tall team is back in front now. Mmm. 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 I've water in my mouth. Look at that goal. Look at that celebration. We're definitely going to pens at this rate, boys. Check this out. Crossbar down. Ooh. And it's immediately 8-7. This game is ridiculous, bro. I can't even take a break to get a sip of water without being scored. Watch. Let me try to get a sip of water, and they're probably going to score while I do it. Mm. 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 Okay, maybe not. This has to be it. This could be the game as well. 9-7. Ah, oh, this poor tiny goalkeeper, man. Make it 10. It's 10. Oh, that's, that's got to do it, boys. Five seconds remain. The small team gets one back. But it is not going to matter. Let the clock tick down. And the tall team has won the match. The final score is 10-10. Two eight. And congratulations as the Toll team has won the entire video three to one in total challenges. Thank you guys for watching. Comment section, let me know which video I should record next for this series. Give me two teams to put up against each other and watch the last week's episode. Right, boys. See you for the next one. Peace.